Now, the next one is the response time. What do you mean by a response time? Well, to simplest response time is a time where process got the first response from the processor. It means consider process one. Process one entered at 115th second and was waiting till 250. So there was a long wait period. After which process one started, but again got stopped at 220. Then again it waited and then again restarted at 250 and completed at 300. Unlike waiting time, which was calculated again and again for every wait period, response time only gets calculated for the first response. That means in our case, 215 minus 115, which is 100. So for process one, response time was 100 units. As we have studied all five major criteria, that is CPU utilization, which we intend to make 100% throughput, which we try to maximize. Turnaround time is a time from start to end. Waiting period is time when process was not executed and response time is wait till first response or you can say run apart from this conventional criteria there are other criteria also these other criteria includes fairness please edit this i'm restarting this other criteria includes fairness which means nobody should be given more priority and nobody should be having to go through starvation. Everybody should be given an equal chance and everybody should be able to execute when is needed. Second is a balance utilization or just balance. This is with reference to utilization. It simply means that we should not Overutilize a particular resource and other resources not even touch. Everybody should be having nearly balanced utilization of resources. Third, in some cases, is priority. The first question about is to follow or not. So basically, if we go through, we have a five major criteria and three other criteria together. These are the criteria on which scheduling algorithms would be chose or rather scheduling algorithm should be selected. That's it. Thanks for watching this video.